Ciao, my name's Peter, I'm an Englishman from London and I live in Fano in Marche. And today we brought you to Cartocetto, a beautiful town near where I live, just to talk about my experiences in Marche and how I came to be here. So I work as a coach and a consultant to small businesses and startups. Having already started a few companies myself, I help people launch their products, I coach them, help them create plans. So I've done that with some big companies in Italy and I also work with people in England. So when I'm not working, I like to ride my bike, I do triathlon and also for anyone who's coming here to visit Italy, having been all over the country with work in Tuscany, Sardinia, Sicily, all over, I would say that Marche, my experience is the most complete place where you can get everything you imagine Italy to be in one location because it's got the amazing landscapes, it's got some incredible white and red wines, great food and also the people are amazing. So I arrived in Le Marche, I think it was 2008 and I came here originally on holiday and I ended up meeting an Italian woman actually on couch surfing. So I came to Fano to come and find this lady and then ever since I've been here, I, my son was born here, you know, and in the meantime in those years I've had a lot of incredible adventures. I've worked in all sorts of jobs. I did boat building, building carbon boats, including at the time the world's largest yacht that had ever been built in carbon. After that, I worked at Ferrari doing Formula One cars, doing the body work in carbon also. I've taught English at one of Italy's largest companies called Eni, Saipem. Um, I worked for an American company doing consultancy, doing sales training all over Italy. So I went to Tuscany, Sardinia, Sicily, Milan, got to see amazing parts of the country, meet great people. And obviously in the meantime, I've learned Italian to quite a high standard. So I have a lot of friends here now. You know, I do a lot of things. I go out and so it's a great place for me. I love it here. Marche has everything that Tuscany has, but it's just not as touristy, it's not as commercialised. You know, it has the amazing rolling hills, it has great coastlines, it has amazing food and culture, but it's not quite as, you know, developed commercially. So you have that authentic Italian feel, you have that lifestyle, you have that culture. There's an incredible tradition of wine and food in Marche. You know, Verdicchio di Castelli di Iesi is one of the most recognized Italian white wines you know it wins many prizes you can find it in British supermarkets and that's grown not far from here from where I live and also there's a very incredible red wine called Lacrima di Molo d'Alba which you only find here and there's many other types of red and white wine that grow here and food obviously you have these festivals in the countryside called Sagra which are festivals just celebrating one type of food. So you'll have the sagra of tagliatelle, you have the sagra of sausage, you have the sagra of snails, even very strange types of food. So in Marche, you have this very incredible tradition of food and wine. You have the culture, the weather, the landscapes. And in my opinion, having been to Tuscany and here and lived here, then I think here is much better than Tuscany all round. Today we've come to this incredible town, Cartocetto, where it's one of the most famous places in this area for olive oil. It has a DOP uh, denomination, which means this area is protected by the state, is recognised as a very important place, you know, for high quality products. I come cycling here a lot, it's an amazing place to come. I started cycling about four years ago in London with a team in London called Dulwich Paragon, which wear the blue jerseys. And then when I started to come here a bit more, I started to ride with this group, the Fenesi. And we go out for maybe, started to go out for 100 kilometer, 120 kilometer rides. So I started to get quite fit. And then I was exploring the, the region on my own, just going out on the bike. I discovered amazing places like Castelli di Iesi, where they grow Verdicchio, uh, Moro d'Alba, where they grow, um, that's a famous red wine from this area. So it's given me an opportunity to explore the local area and also to make a lot of friends you know, with the local cyclists. Because everyone here goes out on their bikes on a Saturday or Sunday, you see huge groups of cyclists annoying all the car drivers 
and also since I've been doing sport I've started to get into triathlon as well. I did my first triathlon in a place called Cesenatico last September and then a couple of weeks ago I did a half Ironman in Rimini. So now I'm now I'm training, well hopefully we'll be training next year to do a full Ironman. So behind me this is the Science Museum Bali, which is a very interactive place for children. There's a great planetarium inside and there's also an observatory where at night they show the children the planets and stars and it's a place where I bring my son all the time. And it's just one place in market where children are very well catered for. You know, you can go in the mountains, the Apennine Mountains with the children, there's the beaches. It's a very child-friendly place. Children are welcome in all the restaurants. You know, so if you have children and you want to come to Italy, I would highly recommend market. As a father, I would say it's the best place in Italy to come with children. So for anyone who's interested in nature, who wants to try amazing food, see incredible landscapes, market is the best region of Italy. Ride my bicycle